the warm up this week is going to be a running warm up. You can set out cones for them to run around, and it'll start with just regular running. Make sure they're running on their toes, moving their arms. Try to stay single file, then you can run knees up. Really encourage them to point their toes every time. Keep moving arms, then kick their butts. Probably do a full lap around for each of these. Chasse inside. Encourage pretty hands and pretty feet on this. Lifting, then go outside. Good, then you can do skipping. Skip as high as I can. Choose what kind of arms you want. I like opposition for skipping. Make sure toes are pointing, of course. And run, run, punch. This is great to reinforce the circle for vault. Circle point. You can do backwards running. Stretching long steps behind. Then you can do some sprinting, anything you want. Then they'll go hands on head and releve walking. This is where you really want to see straight, straight legs. Nice, tight legs walking all the way around. Then we're going to stretch on the wall this week. Go ahead over to the wall. They're going to put their back knee up on the wall. Knee all the way flat on the wall and lunge forward. Hold that short uh, for a little bit and then slide out to a split. Try to have them keep their hands back close to the wall. Toes are pointing. The front of that back knee or the um, back of the front knee is pressing down to the floor. Feet are turning out. Good, then you'll switch legs. Um, after that, you can go to straddles. We'll go butt against the wall. Try to keep a straight line. Good. Then we'll turn around and go to hamstring stretching. Feet will be flat up against the wall. Feet together. Mm -hmm. And reach forward flat. Keep pressing those knees back flat, the backs of the knees flat on the floor. Good, then turn around. And we'll do bridges pressing shoulders up against the wall. Arms are narrow, thumbs are close together, and armpits, not chin, are pressing to the wall. And down. Okay, this week is moving into round offs and round off back handsprings. Um, you can use this, a lot of these drills, for even your lower level classes. Uh, start with just jump backs, so jump back. Try to keep hips up off the mat, and arm speed, go. Good, then you can um, upgrade it a little bit and do a round off jump back. I think it's good to use a panel mat so they're going down and it's easier to keep legs straight out of the round off. Good, and really work on getting hands back before butt touches the mat. Then we're gonna use a TP this week. You can build a TP with just a panel mat and then pull the edge up. It's a fun little game to keep the uh, kids from keeping their chest in and um, turning over the round off faster. So she's gonna go step hurdle, round off, and jump back. You can do that with everybody. You can upgrade to round off back handsprings, um, and you can use it wherever you want to. Then you can put a round off on the floor. Use a barrel, hands go in front of the barrel. Go ahead. Good. And then back handsprings over the barrel. You wanna have a barrel close to shoulder height. If you have varying sizes in your class, you can always put a baby panel mat in front of that. Okay, this is vault this week. We're gonna use the tumble track a little bit to work handstand slams in front handsprings. Um, we put an eight inch up on the tramp and put a little mat in front of it so they don't hurdle too close to the mat. So she's gonna go run, circle punch, and handstand slam. All levels can be trying that. Then we're gonna come down to the floor over here and we're gonna do handstand hops over the line. Arms start down, maybe do a small circle. Start with your hands behind the line and hop over the line. There you go, good. Then we'll start, you can always start with straight jumps, but we're gonna start with dive rolls today. I'm going up to the pit. I like to put a little mat in front of the pit. It's just a little wedge mat, little baby cheese. Um, and you can have them go over the mat. Go ahead. Dive rolls over the mat, not touching it. Except that's a dive roll. All right, then we're gonna go um, front hand springs or fly springs over the mat now on the tumble track. Have them not touch either of the green or the yellow mats. Then we'll come back over to the um, vault and we'll do um, hands in slam now. Good. 
Okay, this week is shoot throughs and mill circles. Um, I would definitely encourage you to tell your classes that the most important rule with shoot throughs and mill circles is to always keep your hands on the bar and never let go. Um, even if they fall forward, they need to re grab the bar and just go forward. So we'll start with um, basics just jump and shoot through. Mm -hmm. Then easy leg cut. They'll put their hand, hands together and kick around. Good. Then we'll do a shifting drill. Put their leg in front over the bar, hands are backwards, and jump and shift. Good. All levels can do this. I still am doing this with level threes. Good. Then we'll come over to the um, more advanced bar and we'll do cast shoot through. Good. Mill circle. Really try to encourage your girls not to, um, well, and boys if you have boys, not to bend their front knee. Then we'll do hands forward and leg cut. Good. Um, then we're going to work on some dismounts this week. So we'll start basic. And we'll just go um, jumping off a mat, jump, put their feet on the bar, and swing off. Good. And then we can do a climb on method if that's a little hard. Jump up on the bar. You can kind of gauge which one's easier for your kids to do. And then we'll come over to um, have a little cartwheel mat for something to shoot to go over. So they can do cast squat on and swing over the mat. Just cast squat ons are a good idea too. And then we'll come over to the high bar. I feel like we need to work a little bit more glides. I like to have them start with their hands on the bar, a nice rounded shape, ears covered, and jump and round and glide. Keeping toes close to the ground and opening up their hips. Okay, this week on beam, um, we're going to keep working coupe turns, but we're going to move into a little bit more Hanson and Wendy dismount. So we're going to start with levers. Um, you can stack up two blocks and hold a third one. They'll go down and put the block down and come up. Then on the second one, they'll bend down and then pick up the block and come back up. Good. Um, then we'll put the box down and just do some side handstands. If you're nervous about these on the beam, you can always try on the floor or on a low beam first. Side handstand and down. Good. Really try to have them put the backs of their hands on the edge of the beam and not have their fingers lean over the beam. So you don't want the edge of their hands on the end of the beam like this. You want to have their hands back so the back of their hand is on the beam so they have more palm on the beam. Um, then here are some Wendy drills. Arms are up tall. You're looking for that nice lever. Side handstand and fall flat. Good. To get their feet over the head for the Wendy. Then you can um, set up a station with a wall or you can use a wall. But they'll kick up to the side handstand. Touch the wall if they need to or just don't touch the wall at all and do a Wendy to a push up shape. That way they're picking up their hand and keeping their hips flat and not piking down. Um, then we'll do, if you have time, do cartwheels on a low beam. These mat beams work great for this. You can really work on good hand positions, turning in the second hand and looking under their armpit. Good, you can see her looking a little bit over still. Look under the armpit. Good. And really work on square hips in the finished position. This is only if you have time, though. I would definitely um, start with side handstands and Wendy's first.